This is Jim Park reporting from Navistar's heavy-duty boot camp taking place at the Miller Motorsports Park in Tuella, Utah. We're here with Ty Wakiskowitz, Navistar's Manager of Product Powertrain Development. Ty is going to take us on a short walking tour of the air intake system of the new Max Force 15 engine installed in a ProStar chassis. Here we've got the fresh air and this is the EGR mix there. The reason for the intake throttle is to allow us to properly manage the mixture of EGR and fresh air to get exactly the precise mixture we want. So uh, this device is a very fast responding, fully electronic intake throttle control valve. And we then meter the amount of fresh air and EGR that's mixing. They come in and they mix in this housing, uh, which was actually developed with a lot of computational fluid dynamics to make sure that we get good mixing and good flow yet minimal restriction and then that's fed into the intake manifold. So the actual mixing takes place just downstream right, of this yeah, device? Right, see where right? this comes in here? Yeah, yeah, right in this large housing. Now that's a considerably larger diameter than we've seen on a lot of other mm -hmm. EGR intake pipes. Right. Why is it so big? Well, it's big because, first of all, it's a, it's a housing, you know, I'm sorry, a casting, a large casting. We, we mount our intake throttle there and uh, the, the flow paths that we have, in order to optimize the mixing without causing a restriction, uh, the, the in, inside diameter has to be that size. But any restrictions that are on an engine will hurt fuel economy, so we want to uh, prevent any kind of pressure drops. So mixing by itself could be a pressure drop. You know, so having a big enough housing so that they come in and they mix well without causing a pressure drop was the key here to optimizing fuel economy. In the course of developing this system and on the 13 liter as well, have you seen a lot of soot accumulating downstream of that uh, diverter valve or that blending valve? There's always going to be some soot, but it doesn't accumulate. It's more like it, it kind of built, it, you get a little bit on the walls and you can see it there, but it's not like clumps of charcoal or accumulation. So none of that's going to fly into the engine at some point when a piece breaks loose and... It's, it doesn't soot up like chunks. It's kind of like a, a coating, Okay. what we've seen. You know, I mean, you can you can rub your finger across it and get black soot on your fingers, but it's not like chunks. Okay. You know, we haven't seen it do that. Key to that is temperature control, by the way. If, if you keep the temperature in the right range, you won't get agglomerations of, of crud. Okay. So that's that's one of the keys we learned in development. Could you tell me, roughly pointing and mechanically, where the old CAT C15 block ends and where the work that you've done begins? Yeah. Um, fundamentally, you know, you've got the CAT, the CAT block and head up here, and the part that's in black. If you can see that, that's caterpillar block. Um, the spacer is blue, okay, those are basically cat parts, and then what you see in aluminum is the top cover, and that's ours. Most of the changes that have been made by Navistar are internal. They're not in the crankcase itself, they're what goes into the crankcase. And of course all the external plumbing, turbochargers and, and all that. So if you needed a part for the block, could you go to a cat dealer and get a, a yellow bolt if you needed one? get yellow bolts, that's for sure. Okay. We've, we've reused as much as we could. Okay, Ty, thanks very much. All right. Thank you.